<laughs> hey everyone, sorry about that. Um, so I'm trying to... Okay, so this is going to be craft update. It's fairly large, not like ginormous or anything. But, um, I have some different, um, crafts, not just, um, polymer clay. But, um, and if I have time at the end, I'll show you guys two really cool things I got at Goodwill. Um, I go to Goodwill a lot. <laughs> so, um... Let's get started. I did I did two decoden projects. So I had this squishy that I really didn't like because um it was like a flan squishy and I really didn't like it because there was like nothing on top of it. So as you can see it's still it's still wet. But um it has micro marbles and sprinkles and then it has a cherry, an orange, like a little mansion orange, and some little cookie wafer sticks. Um but I like it so much better now, and, um, it looked really plain without anything, uh, without, like, not anything on its top, um, because I got it for free, I think, or maybe, you know, maybe I, maybe I got it from a package, I really don't remember, because it was kind of a, bit, a long time ago, so, but anyway, I really like the way it looks now, um, so, and then for the, um, my charm um, box I keep all my crap stuff in. I, it, it sounded like I said crap, but no, I didn't. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, um, so I did this one. I need to clean it up a little bit. Um, but it's got a bunch of fruit cabochons that I made. All of these I made myself, except for this. This is like something I found off a of squishy that fell off of it. So I have cherries, a wafer stick, um, a kiwi slice. If you can tell there's like white on the bottom of the kiwi slice. Um, this banana slice, um, this strawberry slice, I mean the strawberry, this uh, mandarin orange, this strawberry, this little cherry, and this bow, chocolate bow. And so yeah, I really like the way that one looks too. Um, but I like this one a lot. So I made a lot of little, um, a lot more, um, little, uh, I'm just going to dump everything out because I don't want to, um, put this against the ground, so, um, anyway, um, so I made a lot of little cabochon, fruit cabochons and, like, stuff like that to, um, replace the ones I used on the Decadem because I like to keep them in stock because I've had some people buy them for me. Or, I mean, not buy them, but want to buy them. So, I th I'm thinking of maybe opening an Etsy. But, I don't know yet. So, I don't know about that. So, I made them a little bit different. But, um, so, I made another cherries. I have a mold for that. And then I made another cherry, but this one's a lot bigger than my other one. If, well, if you can tell, it's a lot. It's a lot bigger. So, but, um, this was the original cherry I made for this cupcake. Whoa. So this one's a little bit more similar to this, but this one's still bigger because I like them really big. It makes them look, stand out more. Um, okay, then I made another banana slice. This one's a lot bigger, too, if you can tell, like, a lot bigger. <laughs> um, I'll show you. Here's the regular one, and yeah, a lot bigger, um, and yeah, I have not glazed any of these charms yet, but I will, so, I never just, I like to make, um, like, my craft updates, like, right after I get done making these, so, yeah, I made another kiwi slice, which is pretty much the same, I made a little orange to replace the one orange I, or I mean, I guess I used two, but, uh, I think I made three of them, so I still have, like, two left. Including the one I made. So, and then I made a bunch of these wafer sticks. Like, a bunch. I don't know how many. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I guess I made nine of them. So. Um, yeah, nine. Just double counting there. Um, but I made a bunch of these because they're so helpful in deco them. And I just love them. They're, like, really, 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 really helpful. So, 
I really suggest you guys to make these. They're like so easy. All you have to do is put two, the two colors of clay together and just swirl them. So they are so easy and they're so helpful. They're like one of my favorite things to decorate with. Um, yeah. So I made a bunch of those. Um. Okay, then I made this cell phone strap charm, and it's a Mickey Mouse burger. So here's the top, and I saw this off of a video. Um, it reminded me of this, well, I was watching this video, it was like Disneyland foods, I think. Um, and, uh, it was a Mickey Mouse hamburger, but then I've seen this somewhere else before. I don't know where, though, so I don't know who to credit it to, I'm very sorry. But, um, I, I wanted to make this, but I didn't know what it would look like, like, from the charm that the other person had made, but I don't know who, so I just kind of chanced it. <laughs> but I think I like it, so here's the top bun, and it's shaded, and it's got sesame seeds, and then I, this one has tomatoes, um, this is supposed to be an onion, and, um, the burger, and then... This one it has cheese and lettuce, and so it's kind of like a like a Big Mac, I guess, or yeah, Big Mac. But hangs like this. It's really cool. <laughs> I like it a lot. So then I made this little. I think this is really cute. It's a little mochi bunny. I don't know who to credit this to though because. I saw it off of Google Images, so I really don't know who. Um, but it's very textured because it's a mochi. And it's got the little leaf ears, which also have texture on them. And then little eyes. I think this one's really cute. And I wanted to say something, guys. When I say something's really cute, I'm not trying to be like like rude and be like oh my stuff's amazing I'm not trying to be like that and I try to do that at least I can but I watch so many clay videos and so many people do that and I'm not naming names but there are so many people that do it it's contagious and I'm really sorry if it sounds like I'm being like oh mine are the best because that's really 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 not how I see it I see it I don't see this and I don't see doing polymer clay for like being better than other people and for only for the product and because and you have to make it look perfect and stuff guys I do this because I think it's really fun I don't do it because of that and I don't do it because like competition and stuff that I think that's just crap I'm sorry but yeah so I just want to get that straight guys I'm really not I don't know <laughs> um then I made this soccer emoji which is also very textured it's got a cute little face see that I see I do it again I don't know and it's got this really realistic leaf. Uh, then I made two pairs of earrings. And I'm sure you guys have already seen these polymer clay charms. But I made them into earrings, so I thought I'd just show them. So they're both dangle earrings, because I haven't found studs. But, um, so I made um, these onigiri. And then I made these little hostess cupcakes. Whoa. So yeah, and then I made these three cotton candy charms inspired by Tony Ellison, and they're made out of felt. Ah, so I have the purple one, I have a pink one, and I have this blue one, which is my favorite, because I think it looks the most like cotton candy. And then lastly, I have this other braided bread charm. And then I made two polar bead creations, which are these two cake rolls. Oh, I might be selling these, so I don't know. But let me just show you these real quick. I got some micro marbles and ear hooks from Goodwill. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.